started at the same time? It's just like that, but it's on your radio. It's the Mike Calta Show. It is the Mike Calta Show, 736. Go get Bob Marley. Bring him in the studio. That's something I never thought you'd hear you say. Tomorrow I'll be out at Al Lang Stadium, Button Burger, starting in the afternoon. Uh, oh, we'll get there at about 6 o'clock. I believe the door's open at 4 or 4.30. 4. That's what I said, 4. Yep. You can go to theboneonline.com. Today is one week away from Cal to Cruise number 9. I know. I'm already I mean, packed. I finally talk about it now. I'm going to be happy. You're not packed. <laughs> no, I'm not. There's Bob Marley. How are you doing, sir? How are you guys? Welcome to the show. Have a seat. Relax. Thank uh, you. Thank you for having me. Let's get all the obvious stuff out of the way. Yeah. First of all, I, I have seen that you, I, I saw that you uh, have been in the improv a couple of times over the years. Yes. And I don't know why, for one reason or another, you've not been on the show before. And then this week, somebody, your name came up. And I was yeah, Rob very, said that you were to be here. And it's I very, very funny. Oh, thank you, man. I've never been to the Tampa improv. Oh, really? But you have been through town, haven't you? I've, cause, oh, I've seen your name before, and I just assumed that you were black like everybody else. <laughs> yeah. And then I just looked at your picture, and I went, he's white? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, a goofy Irish guy from Maine, so that's. Uh, so that's, I have to. I, I, yeah. I have to ask: Has it been a help or a hindrance? Um, you know, when I first started doing it, I never. When you first start do, doing stand up, you never think, "Well, I'm gonna be doing this as a pro." Right. I'm gonna be out there. You think I'm gonna be in the Chinese restaurant on the weekends, right? <laughs> hammering away. It's not gonna be a deal. Right. It's not gonna make a difference. And then by the time you actually get some steam rolling and build up your name a little bit, well, now that's your name. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah, you can't just all of a sudden. <laughs> change it. I'm Bill Smith. Yeah. You know? I mean, Did it's you your think, name. It's just, yeah. I, wonder, I always wonder if everybody's, like a bunch of black dudes are going to show up and be like, this guy must be so funny. <laughs> you know? I've, never made it, I've never made it part of my act, really, because no. I thought it'd be kind of easy. And right. Well, which I, I feel bad having to ask you, uh, but for those no, anybody no, who's never seen you, I'm like, let's just get it out of yeah, the way. Yeah, totally cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it's just a thing. It was my dad's name, too, which was crazy, because he was a big six foot three, 360 pound Irish guy. Uh. So. <laughs> but the funny, the funny thing thing about it is Bob Marley the singer that doesn't look like it would be his name like he yeah. doesn't look like you look like Bob Marley right he looks like some other name I don't right. know right 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 uh, anyway Bob is gonna be at the improv now what is this uh, you did a Guinness Book of World's record yeah how um, long ago was that I don't know three or four years ago that's a, that's a good way to get noticed though yeah well I my friend talked me into it he's like you want to do uh you, you got a lot of CDs out you ought to try to do this thing and I was like I don't want to do that so we ended up doing for a, a children's hospital in Maine uh -huh. and we, we raised like thirty thousand dollars Nice. And, um, it was good. First, like, four or five hours, you're like, why am I doing this? Yeah. You know? And the biggest question, especially from my relatives, are like, what about the bathroom, Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> are you going to be able to use the bathroom? <laughs> What's the deal? Yeah. So you get a five-minute break every hour. It's always the biggest concern. Even when we have NASCAR drivers, I'm like, what? That's my mother. That's all she talks about. I've got to use the bathroom. Yeah. I brought her to Jimmy Fallon with me. I'll tell you about that in a second. But that, that was crazy. So I, I'm Irish Catholic. So I'm like, I'm not using those five minutes. I'm going to save them up, and then I could take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> in the break, I had like 45 break. minutes saved up, and so I went. And I took like an 18-minute nap, which was a huge mistake, like 20 hours, and that right. would be like stopping drinking halfway through a Kenny G concert. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me tell you, you Why did I, 40 was your goal? Yeah, 40 hours. 40 hours of stand-up. Yeah. Of non-repeat material. No, no. You, you. Well, oh, here, here, here's the deal. Like in the beginning, I started prepping it. I started going down through you know because i've been doing it a long time yeah. and, and catalog stuff and you know in new england i'm popular i have a good following so i constantly would put albums out right. so i could go back through all those and you were allowed to have like a playbook uh -huh. where you could bullet point stuff and so i'm looking I'm, I'm prepping it all and then like the day before my manager calls me he goes i talked to the people at the guinness book and as it turns out you can repeat material after four hours oh. I'm like, that would have been good to know about three years ago <laughs> <laughs> been down here like matt damon and goodwill hunting <laughs> writing stuff on the windows you know so uh so you who is your audience for this well it had to be uh more than 10 people that weren't related to you and couldn't be asleep, <laughs> couldn't be asleep. <laughs> it's like you know and, and, and i live in maine which is like such a quiet peaceful place but what happens is news people started coming down they're like something's going on down here mm -hmm. bob miley's going for the get a fuck or, you know it's like it's such a weird place that we live in it's the like same guy who announced the hindenburg yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
see you at the funny paper. It's like we have like pumpkin festival. Yeah. There's nothing going on. Like I watched your news this morning, and it's like like four people found themselves slain this morning in Tampa. It's yeah. like, we don't have that stuff. It's like pumpkin festivals are coming around. It's gonna be. So it started growing. So we started. You know, it was no problem filling the room up after a while. That's but. so funny. And, yeah. and, and, and what you're really like, I, I mean, 40 hours of anything yeah. is terrible. Well, I, I was gonna go longer, but then I I was in a wedding. One of my Irish buddies was getting married, so I had to go to the wedding. So I go to the straight uh, from the yeah. to the rehearsal oh. dinner, and all my buddies are cops, and so I, I show up, and they all got like uh, newspapers with uh, my picture on the front. <laughs> they go 40 hours, pretty good, Molly. I don't know if you know this, but we work 40 hours every week. <laughs> <laughs> we get nothing out of uh, it. I, I I don't. There's nothing. I could sleep for 40 hours if yeah. they asked me to. But that it it was it was tough, but it was uh, it was fun. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. So then some prick beat you by eight minutes. I think so. Yeah. yeah. I, I hadn't looked so at that. that. Someone told me that a while ago, but yeah. I love that. Bob. I, I, was really like, I think so, it. but he's got a picture of him in his wallet. I'm going to kill this guy one day. <laughs> I've never heard uh, of the guy. Bill Peterson. <laughs> well, but that's uh, Australia. Lindsay oh. Webb okay. is the uh, person's name. I don't know if it's a male or female, but you, you have the American record. So yeah. that's, hey, you're the American gold I'm record. the U.S. Holder. guy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. At what board. point do you just start getting goofy where you're like not even doing material, just doing noises and I stuff? I think like 25 hours in, you just start like, you know, losing it a little bit. Yeah. You know, and you're just like, well, yeah, yeah. I went to, at one point, I went to like a five hour set list where I was just like, this is all I'm going off of for the next five. Just repeat, know. keep repeating it. Just keep going, you know, the stuff that you've been doing forever that, you know, boom, ba boom, ba boom. So, it, it, yeah, and it worked out. It was, uh, it was a good thing. Oh, it was good, fun. Good for you. I was telling you about my mother, though. I, I brought her to Jimmy Fallon with me. Right. So she goes, you're going to New York? She goes, I'd like to go with you down there. And so uh, we're driving because it's, we live in Maine. So, yeah. and she calls me the day before and she goes, can you come over and weigh my suitcase? I'm like, I don't think we need to weigh the suitcase. Nobody's going to stop us on 95 South. Really? <laughs> so I pick her up. She's sitting in the back seat, like I'm driving Miss Daisy or right. something. And from the front, all I'm hearing the whole ride is... And I'm like, what's up with the slurping? Mom? What's going on with the slurping? She goes, I got a bad tooth. It's it's got it's awful. It's abscess, and the smell is awful. Oh. I know, and I'm like, okay. I'm like, why wouldn't we get that pulled before we went on a yeah. four-day road trip? Yeah. To New York? <laughs> she goes, I can't pull it, Bobby. It's my steak tooth. <laughs> I'm like, if you're down to the delegation of certain teeth, and certain foods, it's time, you know, just just go with the fake teeth. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we, we we finally get there, and uh, I pull up front and I drop her off. And then I go to get parking in New York, which is like a two-hour thing. Yeah. So I'm in Jersey somewhere parking. Mm -hmm. I, I come back. She's gone. I don't know where she is. I can't find her. And it, in my heart, I'm like, I need to find my mother. But I really want to be on Jimmy Fallon. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. <You> know? <laughs> so then I made a compromise to myself, like a moral compromise. I'm like, well, maybe I could just like plug it halfway through my set. By the way, my mother's missing. If you see her, <laughs> right. Irish lady walking around. I have a Bet phone you. number. Yeah. Right. So I, I get backstage, and uh, Julianna Huff's on with me, and she's like unbelievably good looking. You know, yeah. she's got an entourage, and I'm in the hallway, and she comes walk strutting by, and I'm like looking at her. And, you know, you're nervous. You don't know what to say to her. And I'm, I'm there with my mother. She's got, like, 40 people. And I'm right. like, hi, how you doing? <laughs> so she comes by. She goes out. And then uh, I finally get introduced. I go out. I do the first joke. Everything's going good. Because when you're on those shows, you know, you, you start, you're in your head oh, yeah. all the time. You're like, oh, my God, this is going good. Who's now, is watching? This, is this the later show or the Tonight Show? Uh, it was about a year and a half ago. So probably right before he moved over to the new one. Okay. So in your head, you're thinking, oh, man, who's Tom Cruise is probably watching this. <laughs> yeah, probably. I got to be the wacky side. <laughs> Yeah. In the next movie or yeah. something. And, and, and everything's going good. Right before I get to the second joke, there's a pocket of air, and all I hear is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, she's here somewhere. I don't know where she is. But, and if you watch the set, you can kind of see me buzzing around the room. I'm like, looking, <laughs> like, like I'm looking for Lee Harvey. <laughs> and so I see her in the front row. She's in the front row, and she's just sitting there going. <laughs> I did Letterman once, too, and. Uh, and my parents went, unbeknownst to me, they just show up. And oh, yeah. they, they end up in the front row, and uh, and I can hear, I do the first joke, and I can hear them arguing with each other. I, can, <laughs> I hear my dad going, I know he's up there, Masha. If you'd shut it, I can't 
can't hear what he's saying. Look at Sarah saying, put a sock in it, Bob. Who treated you better, the Letterman show or the Fallon show? Jimmy Fallon. Yeah? Way, way better. And Leno was always, way, like Letterman, you don't even, you never met You don't met see him. Letterman, yeah. You never met him. He's yeah. so insulated. And you walk out and then, you know, they do the first joke. I can hear him laughing. And then when he comes over afterwards, he's shaking your hand. And you're looking at him like, <laughs> you just look like an idiot. You know what I mean? When he, I've, I've been in the green room before. When yeah. he leaves the stage, yeah. they make everybody stop moving so that he can walk through the hall. Always. Yeah, that's it's, dick. It's a little weird. Yeah, yeah. It's just like a dick. Leno would always come in and sit with you and hang out with you, mm -hmm. and he was totally cool to me, you know. So, uh, yeah, th those shows are fun, but they don't do like career-wise, they don't do uh, as much as they used to for right. you know, now. Now, when Johnny was calling right, people over, yeah, yeah, everything's online now. Yeah. It's all online, you know. I did a video about the Patriots, how uh, awesome Tom Brady is, and you know, I cheating. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> yeah. unbelievable. I mean, listen, I understand. I mean, the guy, but let's face it, even on on Tom Brady's like worst day, that is still better than any of our best days. Right, yeah. that's true. Yeah. That's like, true. like you know, they said, oh, you, you, you might have deflated the ball. We're gonna suspend you four games. And then he went home, and his wife was there. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't naked. Right, she, she, she was just home. Yep. yep. <laughs> like even on my best day, if I won a scratch ticket at 7-Eleven and I hit every green light on the ride home, my wife would still be on the porch with a, her house coat on, <laughs> a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Did you get the milk? Where's the milk? Uh, do you? I always wonder what that's really like at home because people think we have great lives and uh, when I'm my, my wife's yelling at me it's garbage night I'm like why do you take the garbage out every once in a while but last night was garbage night and there I was yeah. yelling at the raccoons yeah. strapping the, the yeah. bungee cord over and I went I'm like Tom Brady never has to do this well stuff. you know the, it, it, it's interesting for that because you have like uh, all the NFL teams basically cheat that's why the coaches have clipboards in front of their faces right. you, while can't they're, they're right. you can't see what they're saying but as a married guy that would be nice wouldn't it you should have that as a house <laughs> <laughs> take the trash out. Yeah, you hold it up. Yeah, why don't you take the trash out? <laughs> I'm taking the trash out for the last 15 years. You're married? Yeah. How long have you been married? Uh, 20 years. Okay. Yeah. So I've been I, married. It'll be 13 years. My wife last night said to me, I had my back. She's in the kitchen. <laughs> like, where are you going? I had my back to her, and she goes, it's garbage night, right? And I go, yep, I'll take it out before I go to bed. And she goes over, and she goes, take the ones out from the can, too. And I go, why don't you take the ones out from the can? <laughs> because she's standing right there commenting on how full they are. I'm like, right. take them out. And, and she goes, and I go, oh, I was just, I was totally kidding. That was a joke. And I had to try to convince her that I was joking here's, so that she didn't throw the garbage at me. Here's a worst phrase any married guy wants to hear. Hey, you know what I was just thinking? <laughs> <laughs> every guy that's married knows that that phrase, hey, you know what I was just thinking, is never going to be followed up by, what do you say we get a 12-pack and <laughs> go to the strip club? <laughs> I have tried to, I have tried to give my wife the ultimate freedom. Yeah. I don't care for everything. That's why you're married so long. Do whatever you want. Yes. Do you mind if I... No. That's a great idea. I don't care whatever <laughs> yeah. you're going to follow. As long as it's not kill the kids, I don't care what here's you're going to say. Here's another piece of advice for single guys. Always go with the second answer that pops into your head. <laughs> <laughs> First <laughs> answers are oh, yeah, yeah, right. Holster that one. Yeah. Right. Like last week, my wife is... Wait, she goes, do you want to watch Dancing with the Stars? <laughs> and I'm like, ah. <laughs> I'm like, if you do, I do. Uh, <laughs> second answer. I'd like to spend some time with you. <laughs> Have some face-to-face -face and hear you tell me the same things you told me yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to say what you're thinking. Uh, I'd rather go down in the basement and sandpaper my eyeballs. <laughs> Take a low-grade 40 on an orbital and bring it down to the retina. <laughs> you know? Uh, thankfully, when it comes to that stuff, my wife's not into any. Like, she, yeah. I could get her to watch. We could watch the same kind of shows. She's not into any of those faggy dances. What about her confidence in you? Is, has that slipped at all? Like, uh, I don't think she ever had it. <laughs> so, in the beginning, everything I said, like when we first started dating, everything I said, everything I did, she was like, oh my God, Bob, I don't even know how you know all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you do, you just know it. I'm like, well, you know, because uh, we turn the clock back an hour every year. <laughs> you know? Now, like years later, it's just like, it's falling apart. Like, like the other, she looked at me last week and she goes, Bob, and I go, I go, what? She goes, okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, I go, what did, I, what yeah. did I say? She goes, you said what? I go, no, I said, I said what? She goes, no, you said what? <laughs>
<laughs> and she goes, all right, do this. She, this is what she says. She goes, don't screw this up. She goes, go to the store and get some milk. I'm like, you don't have to preface it by saying get some milk. You yeah. don't have to say screw it up. I know how to get what get milk, milk is. Yeah. She goes, I know, but you get dumb milk. <laughs> she goes, I like the one with the cows jumping over the fence. He's winking at us. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, she goes, you want me to take a picture and send it to your phone? I'm like, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. So I can walk around the store going, do you guys know where this is? <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. That's a very, I, I get, um, I don't know how to pick fruit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. Just, I hate sitting home. Yeah. So if it comes time to go to the store, I don't mind. Make me a list a mile long. I'll spend an hour in Publix walking around. Yeah. But then I get home and I get criticized for the fruit. I'm like, I didn't, I didn't pack this in Guadalajara and send it here. <laughs> right. And this, believe it or not, was the best looking one on the shelf. I yeah. want to go back and compare it. You'll see that I'm pretty good at. I know it. the difference between all these apples. I'm yeah. just getting apples. <laughs> yeah. You know. Okay. So she likes honey crisp apples. Yeah. So I had to go ask a guy. How do I know which one's Honeycrisp? And there's evidently there's a little label on the apple. Oh, yeah. And there's unaware. Michigan, there's Gala, there's yeah. Fuji. Well, I know there's different apples, but I didn't know how to tell which one was which. Rayburn. Yeah. 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 And you, you do not look like a guy that would ask somebody that. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a specific apple like, you're either. You're a big dude, rugged. You wouldn't walk up. Could, could you tell me where the Honeycrisp is? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. I don't have them. She no. had on her list halfway down, it just said maxi pads. And she's assuming that I know right. what's going on. You have to get to specific. In this right. department, ladies, it's not 1960. That is one where I'll take the picture. Yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. It's not like a. We don't have like a government war issue maxi pad. No. <laughs> I don't mean? mind. I don't mind. I'll look the. I don't. I'm getting embarrassed. I'll look them in the face as I'm buying it. Oh, right. I'm thinking about trying them out. Like I don't care. <laughs> well, but, I, but, the, but the confusion of. I mean, I don't know what you ladies got going on down there, but some of them. I mean, when you look at some of those boxes, extremely heavy flow. I'm like, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You yeah. checked out. You well, your yeah, like, oh. <laughs> extremely heavily flow. You should, you should go get gauze. Maybe stop at a hospital. Yeah, that's not, that's not normal you at all. Grab a sheep or something. Yeah, you just had a miscarriage. Is what you had. I did the best I could do. I get home, she's pissed at me because I, I got the wrong brand. I got um, Swiffers. <laughs> I'm like, it's like, it's like, these are not maxi pads. I'm like, why do you know? have this applicator stick? <laughs> That's there. Uh, Bob Marley is here. He's going to be at the uh, improv. Nine six no eight one three eight six four four thousand. Takes me a second for the right club number to kick in. Uh, very funny comedian. Uh, now, now uh, tell me about tell me about this. This is the greatest thing to me. Yeah. Married on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. Well, going to Tampa. See yeah. ya. Best marriage ever. Yes. And also, uh, yeah, she calls it my vacations. Yeah. <laughs> she says, well, have fun on your vacation. Uh -huh. I'll be here with the three kids. You go ahead on your vacation. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, I am working. Because you're not working because for some reason, if you don't break a sweat, right. and complain about it, then you're it's not work. Making yeah. people laugh. I, I constantly say, I know that I only work four hours a day and right. just make jokes and stuff, but kind of worked hard to get to where I am. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Pay for right. this house. Yeah. The day before I left, I went out and limbed a ton of trees. I, I chipped up a bunch of stuff. I cut a bunch of stuff. I go, there you go. And she was like, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. So at least I had a little good will little manly. coming into yeah. this. Yeah. So I, I mean, see you, you rocking the Starbucks on huh, this morning. Every morning. You like it, yeah. yeah. My, my wife likes it, too. I can't. I, I'm like, I, I don't know what it is. I'm Irish Catholic, so I, I, I don't fit in. Over there with the group, yeah. You know, like I don't have a scarf and a tall pair of boots, <laughs> like I do. Yeah, no, just because I buy honey crisp apples. Really. <laughs> but I, I, my wife loves it. Just yeah. send me in there. I'm more of a Dunkin' guy, I guess. You yeah. Because you know, I like the food better at Dunkin' because I'm used to that dried up rubbery taste. Right. Yeah. Because <laughs> my mother used to boil steak. Uh, <laughs> you know? So, but I went into Starbucks and there's like a language over there. Like, yeah. if, if you don't know it, you feel dumb. The guy in front of me, he's, he's up there. He's got the shiny shoes and you know. He's got all his teeth and everything. He goes up and just dismounts this wicked verbal judo of an order. He goes, I'm going to get the uh, venti, half calf, chai, latte, opera, mango, Ralph Macchio, <laughs> Ariana Grande. And I'm behind him going, oh, my God. Yeah. I don't even remember what she told me to get her. And the guy goes, uh, welcome to Starbucks. Can I help you? And I'm like, uh, I'm going to get a large. Mm -hmm. And he goes, a large what? Um, Coffee, dude. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> you know. It's a, it's, a, it's a learning process. I mean, I'm, I, I, all I'm getting is iced coffee, so yeah. it's not like I'm getting anything crazy. Just the basic. But his girlfriend is my nanny, and I had to keep her order is in my phone. Do you know Ralphie May, the comedian? Yeah, he's great. Okay, so. We went to Iraq with Ralph. We did shows for the troops in Iraq. Oh, really? We went for like a month, uh -oh. and he shows up with two giant suitcases. He's like, full of pot. Bobby, can you help me out? <laughs> help me out. 
me with one of these. I go, who brings two giant suitcases to the desert? A guy who wears a 6X shirt. That's He's what he said. Three and one and the other. <laughs> I, got, I got underwear bigger than you. Let's go. <laughs> hey, baby, can you grab my... Yeah, what is, yeah. what is the uh, thing that Joey drinks? Doesn't he drink oh, some... Eight ball. Eight ball. Four shots is... peppermint, four shots Yeah, but that's special. just because he can't do cocaine. <laughs> yeah. That's all yeah. you want. People at Starbucks get really comfortable. Though. A lot of people running their business out of Starbucks. Yeah. yeah. yeah they got, like, couches. Oh, yeah. People are, like, uncomfortably comfortable. They like, got their laptop on their on their crotch with their <laughs> top button of their jeans undone. <laughs> got their shoes off. You guys want to sleep over? <laughs> I don't ever go in. Yeah. I, just uh, we drive. have drive throughs here, and I don't, I'll drive out of the way to go through the drive through yeah. It's not even a lady. I just don't want to talk to anybody. But the, th the thing is, is that, like, my brother's the same way as you. He won't go into the whole, he will, he'll, like, defy Starbucks. He yeah. refuses uses to say venti yeah. he has to say large give me whatever, you, give me whatever your large is it's yeah. called a venti just learn it yeah. it's <laughs> not that big of a deal the other one's like duncan's got a whole different setup it's like one hard plastic chair welded <laughs> 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 it's like, what's the message there it's like yeah. get out yeah they don't they don't want you spending a prolonged <laughs> amount of time so i will say that drive through at starbucks though they're very professional really articulate welcome to starbucks i'm zachariah <laughs> yeah. would you like to uh, try some water from a glacier in Germany. <laughs> I hope you're having a recycling day. The, on the rare occasion I do have to go inside, there's a whole bunch of products that will never be in my house. Yeah. There's like, I'm like, I don't even know what half these machines are. For yeah. We got the little cup that you stick in and push the button and boom, yeah, coffee. Yeah. And there's that need. thing that just goes. <laughs> yeah. That's you it. Know, people get excited. Oh my God. There's food in there, but it's in a glass case like the Smithsonian. Uh, <laughs> people stare at it. They're like, mmm, I am crumblation of the crumblito. Brody, Declan. And Madison, come here for a second. <laughs> Go get Daddy out of the rover. <laughs> you gotta know though that there's a secret Starbucks menu. Yeah. Grilled cheese. And they have that. Go. Well, they have they have the secret Starbucks menu. We could order drinks that aren't on their menu. But they have a grilled cheese. They have pizza now. No way. So, yeah. Starbucks is trying to embrace guys like us wow. a little bit more. Yeah. The other day I went through. I, that's my thing. I feel like uh, I would be. I feel like I'd fit in more. Mm. You know, if I. You want to be condescended when you're trying to order. Yeah, yeah. That's why I go into Dunkin' and I feel. Uh, and you're I love smarter it. than the people that work there. <laughs> yeah. I go in and you know, first of all, there's usually three of them in the parking lot sitting on pickle buckets. Right. <laughs> Smoking. <laughs> Cigarettes, like directing traffic. Go around. Uh, She's in there. Uh, Teresa! Uh, someone's here. And they're angry at, through the drive thru the, the, the sweet recording comes on, and then Fran's like, What do you want? Yeah. Like, oh, oh. Oh I, I just went through it the other day. I'm like, oh, Don't be so abrasive with the. They're good. They'll get, your, they'll get you in and out quick. They'll, you don't give you a receipt, they'll give it to you for free. Right. But uh, Fran's ready to roll. She does not want to do anything. Yeah, yeah. Where in Maine are you from? Uh, Portland area. Uh, I, I went to. God damn, I loved it. I want to. I want to go up there again during the winter. It's just. It's like the most beautiful place. It's. It's really. You know. It's the people are really nice. They're a little weird. They're still going off the farmers' almanac up there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I saw your weather this morning. I have no idea what the weather's going to be because all the weather people are unbelievably good looking. Like yeah. The women on the weather. I go. I don't know what she just said. Mm -hmm. She's smoking hot. Like we don't. We don't have. We just have a guy that comes out of nowhere. He's like all disheveled because it, you know our weather's so inclement. You know? Yeah. And they go. They go. But they go off the almanac. They're like. Uh, these weird old guys are like, wow, my dog's been under the table speaking Spanish for two days. <laughs> Storms are brewing. <laughs> well, this, new, this red moon thing must be throwing them. They yeah. must be going crazy. I found it in a pumpkin jar, and it smells like squash. <laughs> <laughs> Storms are brewing. But the winter is brutal. I mean, like, if you go, we ski and everything, so we get through it. Yeah. If you go just to visit, it's it, it's nice. But if you live there, live yeah. there, like, my wife came in halfway through the winter, and she goes, I just saw on the news, Bob, that roofs are caving in all over the state because there's too much snow. She goes, so don't you think you ought to get out there and shovel the roof off? I'm like, yeah, I was just thinking that. <laughs> I'm like, don't you think you ought to clean the oven while it's running? <laughs> I'm not getting on the roof with my Jackie Chan. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't, I, the other day I was in the pool and I thought there's a whole bunch of leaves caught in my <laughs> cage around my pool and I went, wow, maybe I should get up there and just sweep them out. Then I had a visual of me trying to get on the roof. Like, <laughs> yeah. Maybe Spanish should go yeah. sweep my my leaves on. Yeah, we and tons of people are down here in the in the winter, and all the snowbirds come down. Oh yeah, here. yeah. And uh, we it, we we that live in Maine like, hate those people because they're they're 
they just can't come and shut their mouth about it. Right. They, my aunt and uncle do. They come to Thanksgiving every year and they sit there. You know, well, Stan and I will be glad when we're in Florida next week. <laughs> I'm like, well, there's nobody locking the Samsonite. You can go now. <laughs> <laughs> Get out early. At one point, she asked me. She goes, I don't know how you people live here year round. Uh -huh. I'm like, well, I'll enlighten you if you want. We don't have a lot of disposable cash and can't buy another house in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> With Florida. Florida. Yeah. yeah. And it, uh, they, their only mission is to come to Florida and then call you with the temperature every day. The, yeah. Hi, Bobby. It's Aunt Teresa. It's 87. Mm -hmm. like, yep, well, I got shoveling to do, see, Hag. <laughs> on, the, on the roof. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like to call him back during hurricane season. I'm like, how you doing? Yeah. Strap down that double wide you're living in. <laughs> I'm glad you finally made it in here. Thank you. Thank you for having Go me. Go see Bob Marley. He'll be at the Improv all weekend long till Sunday. Sunday show. Sunday, two two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow night, and one show on Sunday. Improv right down uh, in it's it's Ybor, 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 Ybor mm -hmm. right down there in the heart of Ybor. Yeah, yeah. So cool place, man. Yeah, a couple blocks over you get stabbed. But where <laughs> you <laughs> are, where you are, it's yeah, fine. It's right right there. there. I stopped to get this Diet Coke last night at the liquor store, like four blocks away from the hotel, and I I was like, wow. Wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, live, I lived in L.A. for 11 years, so I'm like, oh, I'm kind of back in the barrio. Yeah. You know? yeah, don't, go, don't go five blocks from the yeah. hotel. I just kept smiling. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah you got the Diet Coke. Let's go. I, what is that hat? I like that hat. That's a Rosignol. It's a ski uh, logo uh, for skis. I'm going to Park City, Utah for Thanksgiving. No way. So I will be, uh, I've skied I up guess, there. Say, breaking my leg for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> no way, man. That's I, awesome. Yeah. I don't know. I've never, I've skied when I was a little kid. Yeah. Yeah. So I now, so do you snowboard or ski? We ski, we ski a ton, and uh, we, we go all over the place. And my kids, we went 70 days last year, but they, the kids love it. Really? They, they, my daughter raced and all that stuff, and they love it. But when you when you go and get your skis, they're gonna do a lot of weird stuff. They're gonna have you fill out a form, uh -huh. and the beginning of the form is always, "Are you a beginner or an expert?" Yeah. It's like, well, I'm renting the equipment. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm an expert. I left my stuff in Vancouver, <laughs> gold plating it for the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Should I snowboard or should I ski? Not to go do tricks and stuff. You should it should like I think. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it seems like a, a fatter ski. No, uh, more appropriate. Okay, here's the deal. Uh, snowboarding is a mistake. It's a it's a big learning curve. Okay. And you're gonna be pain. You're gonna be. Oh, I don't want that. You're gonna, you gonna. You, what you want to do is go with short skis and and just uh, go on something flat. Yeah. yeah. I feel like. Uh, well, flat. Yeah. <laughs> flat doesn't yeah. seem like it's much fun. Well, it's something that gets just you. Standing here. <laughs> something, something that gets you moving. But, right, but slow, but you can kind of just coast into a stop. That's all I want. Yeah, you don't want to be up, you know. Uh, when I was a kid, I remember they tell you to make like a pie to slow down. Yeah, uh, and I could never do that, so I would just barrel roll. But that was fine when you're nine. Yeah, when you're 44 <laughs> and 300 pounds, it's, it seems like I'm going to cause an avalanche. Well, I taught all three of my kids. At one point, I had a, a 18 month old between my legs and a three year old on my arm, and my six year old standing next to me. So it's called pizza uh, pizza pie and french fries so right. if you want to slow down make it like a pizza uh -huh. if you want to go faster point them like french fries okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, i'm gonna yeah. keep that in my head yeah, uh, yeah. pizza pie french, french fries, fries. Yeah, look, french look for mountains yeah. named like satan's tail oh, yeah. and stuff like that That's what <laughs> Nursing home. You want Mother yeah. Goose? Yeah. yeah. Happiness is. Yeah. 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 Trails I want. Emerald City. Uh -huh. yeah. Right up like that. I don't want anything that I, is going to require taking machinery to get to the top. Yeah. I just yeah, want to yeah. walk. Yeah, just go easy. You're, you're going to love it up there, though. It's an awesome city. Okay. Yeah, I, I have a feeling it's going to be one day of me trying to ski. And, ski <laughs> and they're not the creepy rest of Utah. Type they're not. They no. seem like they are. Because I played in, uh, um, I, oh, gosh, I forget. Not Park City, but um, what's the biggest city? Salt Lake? Yeah, I played in Salt Lake, and I, I, first of all, I left the club, and I've never faked an injury after leaving a comedy club to avoid the customers, but I did, I was in the parking lot, and uh, this guy goes, hey, comedian man, uh, you coming over to the house? Uh, there was a whole collection of them, they go, yeah, he's coming, let's go get him, uh, and I was like, oh, go get him. Uh, my leg, I grabbed my leg, and they go, what is that, I go, my femoral, uh, <laughs> and, then I, and then it was like a 400-yard parking lot, so I had to limp across the 400, I'm like, I should have faked an earache or something, <laughs> 
like an idiot. But I went to uh, an Applebee's because I got snowed in. I couldn't get the flight. And I go, uh, I go, I sit at the bar and I go, can I get a beer? And the lady goes, you're going to have something to eat with that, right? <laughs> and I go, yeah, yeah I'm going to eat because you can't be drinking here unless you're eating. Don't, them's the rules. Oh, wow. So you have to, uh, yeah. it's weird. The two steak minimum? Yeah, I'm like, an Irish guy from New England, like, beer is food. food yeah. yeah. You know, but anyway, good luck with that trip. <laughs> eat some pie, slow, french fries fast. That's all yeah. I need to know. Or, and order food. His last words were pizza pie. I don't know where that's from. We never saw him again. <laughs> Thank you. Go uh, see Bob Marley thanks. at the Improv. We'll take a quick break. It's the Mike Calder Show. The Mike Calder Show on 1025.